What's up guys? Alright, Matt, take the wheel. Let me explain what we're doing. We're going to Smith Mountain Lake. Whoa. Matt is driving Whoa. us off the road <laughs> and we're going to get pulled over. But it's fine. Alright, we're going down to Smith Mountain Lake. This is about a three hour drive for us. So, you know, we're, we're getting kind of bored if you can't tell. Um, it's a nice view and everything, but... It is know, nice. It's, it's a three hour drive. What else can we say? Almost there though. We'll keep you guys updated. Should I have the left turn signal on? Go. Is it, is it clear? Yes, it's clear. <laughs> Alright guys, so we made a pit stop at a place called Sportsman Warehouse. I've never been. Matt's been a few times, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's good. Let's see if we can find anything. It's basically just an outdoors store. It's a lot of fishing like and hunting. Mountain. It's like a Gander Mountain, if you guys remember what that is. But yeah, let's see what we can find. All right, guys. Matt's already hooked on this rod. Yeah. He's probably going to end up walking out with it, honestly. Might. But the flies they have are actually pretty nice. The whole store, actually, is pretty nice. And it seems like everything's a pretty decent price. I've never even seen one of these. Matt's talked about them to I me before. You. But never ever seen anyone well guys the only thing that i think we're buying is flies out of the entire store yeah. because the flies are actually like a little over a dollar per fly no matter what fly it is it's actually such a great deal so i'm getting four streamers two olive and then two with a white and then a brown kind of bottom i think that those will work really well in the shenandoah so i'm gonna try them out all right guys we're finally leaving matt didn't realize we were still 30 minutes away so we stayed in there for like an hour and a half yeah, yeah, distracted, distract Matt, okay, okay. It's very easy for Matt to get distracted. Hopefully we can finally get to the hotel before dark, Matt, B before dark. It's about dark. Though. Yeah, it's not happening, but we still gotta go to the store and get some supplies before we even... Go to Home Depot. Yeah, yeah we're not going to Home Depot. <laughs> All right, we're, we're in our room. It's uh, not that sketchy. Not that bad. The window's a little iffy, you know, but we, we covered it up so you can't tell. Um, you know, Everything else though, I mean, it's fine. It smells like someone smoked in here like 20 years ago, but it's got, very it's got that old smoker smell. But uh, bathroom, not too bad. Not too bad, okay. Yeah, uh-huh, not too bad. It's actually decently clean. A review that someone left today that we read on the way here was the, it was terrible, the bathroom was moldy and the room smelled terrible, nothing was clean. <laughs> yeah, it's But it's fine, there were, there were good reviews too. Yeah. There are also more bad reviews, but there were still there were still good reviews, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> well, the other one. How you feel, Matt? It's three a.m. Let's go fish in the pitch black darkness. Oh, all right, guys, we're on our way to the lake. The time is three thirty-eight in the morning. Um, I feel awake now. Yeah, I'm good. Moving Come and everything. On. Checked out the hotel, but hopefully he'll let me video on the lake. <laughs> Oops, time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a lie. All right, guys, we're at the lake. 4.22 is the time. We actually beat the guide guy here. Um, we're going to get everything ready uh, before, so. Uh, Matt's feeling great right now. How you feeling, Matt? I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. All right, we're going to get everything ready. It was actually kind of cool getting out before the sun was even up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually I wake up at like 10. <laughs> you wake up at like 1. Yeah. I like to get on the water. I would get on the water on the like this. You're on if that Matt would like wake two, up. You're on that like 2.30 p.m. bite. Yeah. <laughs> you know when it's like the worst ever? We usually plan to get on the water by 10 and we're on it by 12. <laughs> I guess they're pretty used to that. Nah, it'll probably be slightly annoying by about 10 o'clock today because everybody was fucking locked in for Memorial Day. Oh, yeah. Holy. Oh. 
<laughs> that would have flipped the kayak. <laughs> Hooked up on a striper. Are you filming? Yeah, I just started it. I think it's that big little eater one, probably. I think that was what was jumping and everything. Ah, uh, they're probably mixed together right yeah. now. That's oh, that thing's cool. Yeah. Do you want that or no? Nah. <laughs> trash, trash fish. <laughs> That's awesome. That's Fine. the th what third fish of the day. That is a, technically a small striper, right? They get, they get, they get huge. Big, yeah, I'd say that's like a medium-ish. Okay. Like yeah, you can catch like twenty pounders and stuff in here, but yeah. that's like a. That's a schooly size one. <laughs> Let's see if we can get them up a little bit. Alright, I'm going to look for them on live scope. And then have you guys bring them already. Yeah, they're going to get them in here. Well, I might have crossed your line on accident. Yeah, I'll reel that, don't worry. So proud of you for that too. <laughs> Where's that? Why don't you guys make that? Okay. Yeah, I can make that. Matt should be able to make that if he doesn't get the bird's nest. <laughs> Dude, Are you going? I'm going. Go. <laughs> You're mimicking me. Well, you cast first, then you. Way in the back? Yeah. Right okay. Yeah, we're gonna throw all the swim baits till that dot dies and then we're gonna go try to catch some bluegill eaters before we go to the dock. I thought you were gonna say bluegill and I was like, let's go! <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs> Max hook Matt's hooked up. I don't know I'm not extra. He looks good. Matt's got a striper. Um, start walking up towards me a little bit. Keep the tension. You want to switch? Tension. Yeah. Deep reel on as we move walking. Oh, he's big. Yeah. Thumb him if you need to on the drag or loosen that drag a little bit. Woo! Yes, sir, Matt. That's a nice drag. Yep, yep. Nice. Let's That's go. Close to 10 pounder. You gotta get a picture of that one. Yeah. Code. You never got a striper? Never, touched, never seen one. No, in person. That's oh, a, he's barely on. You see yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah, they're strong, buddy. Yeah, they're strong. Watch that rod. Good work, Matt. Whew. Jesus. Alright, go ahead and jump to the back. I'll have to get a picture of it. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll grab my phone too. Oh, he cut my thumb up pretty good. Are <laughs> you hey, ready? Alright, let me get a picture. That's awesome. Yeah. It's it's a bluegill. <laughs> Matt, what a catch! Eight pound to <laughs> quarter pound. God, dude, look at the size of that freaking bluegill. That's awesome. Yeah.
Oh, he does have nice colors. He's got a nice pattern. Yeah, we have weird colors here. They're like turquoise and orange. And yeah. That. That's how they are in the river. Up in the North Fork. Oh, the... the or South Fork. Yeah. yeah. That's some of the best looking fish in the river, I bet. Yeah, probably. The, they also go after stuff that's bigger than them, yeah. but whatever. <laughs> I think under five inches. Even, dude, I caught them, I caught one on a four eye Texas rig on a five inch flute. Yeah. Oh, they'll hit the floppers? Right Here through the mouth. Flute. It's pretty crazy they get that little mouth around it, you know? It doesn't, I don't even know how it got it around you know, it. half the time it's in their side anyways. Yeah. <laughs> like, magic. If it's anything with a treble hook, they're not even like hooked in the mouth. They're just hooked on the side because they slapped it. What is, hey, hey. that was a good. <laughs> He's waking up. It's eight o'clock. <laughs> Is he little or big? No, I don't even know. Cast out there. Oh, okay. I thought you were telling me to oh, get out of the way. Yeah. Large mouth? Yeah. What did you say? A fourth of a pound? Three fourths. Oh. <laughs> One fourth of a pound. <laughs> He's like a pound. He's a little chubby. Dude, he's got a fucking gut. Look at that belly. Was that on that glide bait? No, no, a little jerky. Oh. 16 ounce. Getting a lot of follows on these glides. Mainly his. <laughs> Only his. <laughs> you snag Matt? Maybe. That's great. Wrap it right perfectly around that. Nice. Please. Good job. Oh, oh Daniel, you got to follow. Little one. Little one? Oh, just keep going, keep going. He's still there. Where's he at? He, he kind of veered off a little bit. Oh. He followed you for a couple of seconds. You're like, not found you. Would they eat a smaller one, you think? I think so. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, I swear I have the That's money. Painful. Yeah, that hurt me. <laughs> Sorry, I got the money on the boat. <laughs> Big small mouth right there. All right, Matt. What's on? What's on this? It's just following us. Grab that drop shot, yeah. Already on Put it. Put that, uh, watch that bait hook in my feet. Oh, shit, yeah. And then, uh, I'll say we're going to bed that. Here, I'll grab the other one. You want to compete for him, Matt? No. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, yeah. Matt. Yeah. Two of them right there, Matt. <laughs> Had to wait till the end to actually catch one. Smalley? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Ouch. Okay. Probably fucking betting, honestly. Dude. Got it? Got it. There we go. You want a picture of that little guy? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fat Billy. Where's that lot? Oh, that's coming out of her. Is it? Yeah. Oh, uh, hold on, I'll get it then. Yeah, I had one like that on the river. Make him look big. Yeah, make it look like a citation. <laughs> it's probably got a hook on the inside. Probably has a hook. Hopefully. Anything about it. All right, let's get a release. Get one? Yep. Small one? That one I didn't think was a small one. Kind of just like. Small or large? Large. Go more like this with your thumb as opposed to with your finger. Yeah. I think my worm's good. Actually, no, it ripped. <laughs> it did. Yeah. It's on. All right, guys, we're back in the car. We're off the water right now. Um, we had a great time fishing. I mean, we. I cool. mean, the highlight was probably all the fish, like giant six pound to eight pound bass, following the glide baits, like straight to the them. boat. And then they, not catching it. It was, I don't get it. It was awesome. It was pretty cool. Literally, if you took the net, you could probably touch them with it. Oh, yeah. They were like within Dude, rod's length. It was, it was awesome. So, what was the fish? So, he caught a, he caught a, that was like the, no. So, I had a, I had a little largemouth yeah. first. And then you had a large, small largemouth. Yeah, I had one about the same size. And then he had probably a 18, 20 inch striper. Yeah, and then you caught it. And then I hooked up. No, no, no. One. Then I cut, hooked. Uh, you lost uh, that nice like bass. a three pound largemouth. Yeah. And then, then I had my then I had my really pretty sunfish. Yeah. And, and then, then I then I hooked up on that like twenty some what was it eight eight eighty one. Yeah. Pound um, striper. Stripe, that was bass. that was really awesome actually. Yeah. Um that was and the first then, time I've ever seen a striper in person. Yeah, that me too. And then so what so then we tried bed fishing that seventeen. Yeah, we tried for bed up, fishing a bunch. I pulled up a seventeen inch small mouth. Yeah. And they were still bed fishing, which is crazy at this time of year. But the water temperature is cold. I yeah, literally so fished the glide bait for most of the day, which yeah. is probably why I didn't catch as much. Well, definitely you is. were you were just on those big ones. Yeah, I, I it was so fun though. I don't it know. Was, yeah, it was really fun to throw that glide bait, but I had to pay for it because I messed it up. Uh, <laughs> What'd you do when you hit it? You like threw it straight into that rock, right? It just like was hitting stuff, and then I <laughs> one time I reeled it. I saw bubbles coming. I was like, oh no. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it still worked just fine. Um. If you guys are interested in that guide service, I will link down their Instagram in my uh, description below. But the name of it is Smith Mountain Lake Guide Fishing Services, I believe, uh, with Billy Coles. He's a really chill guy. He was actually really fun to fish with. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.